Yo, what's good? It's your boy Ibis Hernandez, and today we're in Barryville, New York. This trip was inspired by Kittatini Campground with a photo of a group rafting on the Delaware River. I haven't been rafting in years. I wanted to get my family on a raft in the water. So we came up here and we decided to make a camping barbecue weekend out of it. We booked our stay on Kittatinny.com. You can book your stay three different ways with them. Lodging, which are their cabins, RV sites to pull up with your mobile home, or tent sites. We booked two tent sites next to each other. Barryville is a quick two hour ride from New York City. And when you arrive at Kittatinny Campgrounds, they have a store that has almost everything you would need to be able to camp if you showed up without anything. They sell tents, sleeping bags, water, ice, firewood, and a bunch of other useful stuff. This is also the same place you register for camp and get your wristbands to say you're staying on the grounds and parking passes. You also come here to register for your adventures such as rafting, zip lining, paintballing, and just to get general information about the area. In all likelihood, this will be your last connection to civilization, as your phone service more than likely will not work up here. The store has 24-hour public Wi-Fi, so you can get updates as needed. Consider bringing walkie-talkies for you and your team to communicate around the campgrounds. I'm definitely planning on bringing a set for our next camping trip. Just registered, about to go to our campsite. Let's get it, baby. Think big, live large. If my door opens, when my door opens. <laughs> so right now we are setting up our tents. This is not what I expected at all. I didn't realize it was just like a little, you know, plot. <laughs> I think we all thought we would be more secluded and wouldn't be renting space in a tent city. I guess the wall of canoes didn't help either, but We'll figure it out. We're gonna have a blast. It's gonna be a great weekend. Let's go. We out here, baby. We having fun learning, setting up my my tent. You should definitely practice putting together and taking apart your tent before you head out to camp. Imagine if it was raining right now. This would have been a miserable process to figure out. Boom! Hey, you going camping? You imagine you start a campfire? You think you gotta go and go and and pick up wood from from the side of the sites and all that? But they sell camp wood and they don't let you cut uh, any you know stuff around. Like they'll find you and all that. You're not even supposed to have this, but I got it to break the wood that we bought from them. It's like eight dollars a pack. In the past, you could bring your own firewood, but they stopped allowing that because of invasive species such as the spotted lantern fly. Now that camp was all up and running, I was ready to take a dip in the river. Wow, it is absolutely freezing. The staff was very adamant about everybody wearing life vests in the river because of past fatalities with people getting lost in the current. There's a lot of different options for you and your family. They have zip lining, which a group of us did. What's you thought about that, Keith? Insane. What was insane? What? Zip lines. 3,000 feet, 35 stories, 60 miles an hour. Let's get it. Monday through Friday is 35 a person. Saturday, Sunday, and holidays is 45 a person. This is mad chill. They got fire pits for you to grill on, and you can bring your own stuff. We bought a griddle. We had like 30 eggs on that shit for breakfast, and oh, we're going to make some pancakes, and it's, it's going to be great. We got some chicken going right now. Hey, brother Johnny, we out here, baby. What we got going here? We got over here some like, Peruvian chicken fried rice, some steaks, some garlic bread over here. To make it happen, some team. Be good, man. Enjoy life. We eating like kings and, 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 and living like royalty right now in the woods old school style man none of our phone service works up here so it's even better because there's no like you know getting lost in the matrix we had to disconnect to reconnect and and it's a beautiful feeling and yeah man come do that while i cooled out in the river some of the fellas went to explore the area and did a little hike others learned how to fish for the first time yo we out here catching eels and shit look at this Yo, we out here trying to build out this campfire in the dark. Fuego, fuego, Jamalo Bombeiros. One, two. Mm -hmm. We finally got this fire going. Got some s'mores going and just added some. 
Like to the fuego. I'm just gonna eat it straight off the stick. Pause. <laughs> right Yo, we out here roasting wieners. Yo, there's no way I'm watching this right now. Yo. This is yeah, why you need to use protection. Because if you don't, your wiener will be on fire. <laughs> Lesson. Are you enjoying yourself, child? Yeah, actually, yeah. I am. How about you, Lee Lee? Oh, that's the fucking, that's the bug. Where's it at? That was the bug that was on my head. <laughs> What's up, Notes? How you feeling? Cool and big. I'm out here, you know what I'm saying? About to get my Malo on, my, my smalls on. Okay. First time camping. Loving it, man. You know what I'm saying? Why Definitely gonna do it some more. I don't, I don't think you need a flashlight on, on the fire. <laughs> Yo, bro, I just got over here. We had to celebrate our first night of camping as a group with a round. And uh, it turned out quite beautiful, man. It wasn't what we expected, but this is definitely what we expected. This family, this just good energy, this, this love. All the different crews that are all combined and connected here is all through love, all through like dope affiliations, and we all family, and like things like this just bring us together. And, and that's what it's all about. The rest of the night, we just kicked it, having great convo under the stars. Some people saw their first shooting star. What an incredible first day, and I couldn't wait to go rafting the next day. It wasn't what we expected, but it's what we needed. The next morning, I woke up to this beautiful view. Usually, I tell Alexa to play nature sounds on loop when I sleep, but I did not need that at all this weekend, and I loved it. How you feeling, man? Ready to do just like our ancestors was doing. <laughs> How you feeling? 2022, baby. Paddle, paddle, still. Let's hit the rapids. <laughs> How about you, Lee Lee? How you feeling? Good. You ready? Yeah. Yo, what's good, man? We about to start the rafting down the Delaware River. There's 15 of us. And uh, what they usually do is they do about uh, six people to a raft. But uh, we knew ahead that we didn't want that, so I uh, requested another raft. And uh, we broke down into three teams of four and uh, one group of three. Yeah, the guy gave us some instructions, told us if you fall off your raft, to stay behind it. And if you lose your raft, to float with your feet going down river so your head doesn't hit rocks. And apparently the water can drop anywhere. The water under you could just drop from three feet to 20 feet in like an instant. So it's super dangerous to just be like out there. Without a life jacket, rafting prices change from weekdays to weekends. Weekdays are $35 for adults and $17 for children. Weekends are $55 for adults and $25 for children. Our route is seven miles from Barryville to Pond Eddy and should take anywhere from three to four hours, if we could figure out how to go straight. It took us a while to learn that lesson as we kept spinning whenever we weren't in sync. This specific route is rated one to two out of six, so it's great for beginners. When you're going downstream, New York is on your left side and Pennsylvania is on your right. You'll have the opportunity to see bald eagles flying in and out of trees. We saw one a few times. Make sure you have some sunscreen too if you have to worry about that. That sun is real on a hot summer day. You should pack a small cooler with water and snacks for your journey and a garbage bag to make sure you leave no trace of your waste. Please don't throw anything into the river. Every year, Kittatinny hosts an on and under the Delaware River cleanup. And if you volunteer, you can get two to three free nights of camping. Check the link in my description for more info. <laughs> yeah, we just parked on the bridge. There's a ton of places to just pull over on the side to just chill and take a break before you continue your journey. We actually walked onto private property and were politely asked to leave. So be aware of that possibility when you do pull over. a waterproof speaker is clutch too. Listening to one of my favorite albums, Anthem of the Peaceful Army by Greta Van Fleet, just hit different on the river. This is fire. This dead ass like a dope ass lazy river right now, bro. Yeah, My brother Dirt loved these guys. We went to see them live a few times. So we had no problem putting the group on, but my son is too cool for air guitars. And then the water war started. 
So much for peace. <laughs> Woo! We're almost towards the end. And oh God, it's, it's hard work. I'm tired, man. I would say uh, get a little work on it, but if you haven't, you can still do it. We out here. I got I got people over over 50 out here. Wait, keep you over 50 cool. I got people almost 50 out here. <laughs> <laughs> 48. 48. <laughs> but a uh, great time, man. I'm loving it. Yeah, I'm loving it. Oh, man. So uh, we were riding down the river, and we looked at the right. We saw a waterfall. And um, it's like a little waterfall or whatever. We just pulled over, and we're exploring now. So uh, we're checking it out. Look, we got the guys hiking through these rocks. This is dope. This is really dope. So guys, this is actually a little bit uh, dangerous without the right footwear. <sighs> this is really difficult for me now because my uh, my sandal broke, so I don't got the best grip. And uh, yeah, but wish me luck, guys. We got this. Yeah, let me get the group shot. I just took a trip to get the perfect pick and I did it. I'm with my family, baby. We out here. Think big, live large. Woo! I'd like to thank Kitatini Canoes for inspiring this trip. Your raft photo inspired this perfect tunnel shot of me and my family. Wow, man, we just finished up camping. We packed up and we're about to head out, but I had such an amazing time. I hope you enjoyed what you watched. I hope you want to come out here with your family. Ask me any questions in the DM or in a comment on YouTube. It's all love. I'll respond right away. I'm here to, I'm here to help you guys, man. I want you guys to roll out. Now, you see, I'm learning. I'm learning, but I'm trying new things, and I, and that's the point of this, for you guys to try new things. Um, yeah, man, think big, live large, and uh, check me out in Mexico. That's where we're going next.